This is the second video in the two-part video series where I show you how to create a wave animation in MATLAB and export that. In this video, we're going to import that into Blender and visualize it. Let's start with some basic setup here. So over on the right, there's this little picture of a camera. These are all of your render settings, and we're going to use EV. All of this works in cycles as well. Uh, I prefer to use EV whenever I possibly can because it renders so much faster. By default, I'll turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. I'm going to go down here and under film, I'm going to check the transparent button because I want to replace the black round, the background all with black. So in order to do that, I need to go up to compositing and I'm going to check this box to use nodes for compositing. Then add color alpha over. I'm going to disconnect this image and bring it to the bottom one. I'm going to change this pre-multiply factor to one. And this first color, I want to set all the way to black or whatever it is you wanted in your background. I'm going to choose black. So we'll go back to layout. If we were to render this, this is what we see. And now we can see we have nice flat back background because when we bring in this field, we can give it a nice emission and it'll look very nice with the black background. The next thing we'll need to do is go to edit preferences, add-ons, and you want to type in import images as planes and make sure that this is enabled because this will make us easier. It's not impossible to do things otherwise, but it's going to make our life very easy. So make sure that your import export import images as planes is enabled. Okay, we don't need this cube. We'll go ahead and delete the cube. So now we'll go to file, import, and then select the images as planes. You wanna to navigate to where your movies are. I save my Blender file where the movies are so we see them right away. Otherwise, just navigate. So I could bring in either one. I'm gonna to choose to bring in the color one first. There's no difference. And now I see a plane. Well, the first thing I wanna do is lay it flat. So what I'll have to do is rotate it around the Y axis. So I'm gonna press R, Y, 90, enter. And now it's lying flat, but I don't see my waves at all. And that's because I either need to go into my materials view or my render view. Let's go ahead and just click on render view. And now we can see what this looks like. We'd like to work on the shading now because we have to convey amplitude. We want to put a transparency in there and so on. So the way I like to do this is in the upper left, if I move my cursor to the upper left, it changes to that little crosshair. If I now click and hold my left mouse button and I drag, I can split the screen. And I'll split it to about this proportion. And on the right is just enough to see what I'm doing. And on the left, I'm going to pull up my nodes. Well, I don't see the nodes. Well, that's simply because it duplicated the 3D viewport. So on the upper left of this window, go down to Shader Editor. And I'll give myself a little bit more room here. And we can see what the default shader is from the import images as planes. Now, MATLAB, we didn't save it in a format where we could export any kind of transparency. So we can just disconnect this alpha channel and that won't have any effect. But this first node loads in the movie and it already set it to being a 50 frame movie and brought that into base color. So if I were to hit play, I could see those waves. All right, and so we will stop it. Now notice it stopped playing. What is going on there? The movie is 250 frames. But this only plays for 50 frames. Well, we really only want a 50 frame movie. So I'm going to end on the 50 frames. And when we were doing the MATLAB portion, I said, we're going to need to remember the number of frames. So that's where we type it in. 
And now if I hit play, we'll just see that it repeats nice and smoothly. All right. The next thing we want to do is convey amplitude. And where the amplitude's low, we want this to become more transparent. So what I can do is hit Shift D on this node to duplicate it. And I'm not going to use that same movie, so I'll click X, click Open. And now I want to bring in the movie that conveys amplitude. Now, this is what I'm not going to do, but let me just show you. If I overwrite the base color, I can now see that I have a uh, my, my black and white over on the right. Now, something weird happens when we do that shift duplicate. If I hit play, we don't see it playing. And what's going on? And it's because it reset some of these, these parameters on us. Notice the number of frames needs to be set to 50. And for some reason, it did not retain that. Now, if I press play, now I can watch this black and white movie play. Okay, but we don't want this to be the color. So the, the movie that conveys color is the color. So this movie needs to convey transparency where the color is most intense, where it's more white, it's gotta be more opaque. So we need to drag this down to alpha in order to do that. And now we can see this is nice and see-through. And I think that looks really nice. The only thing that would make it look a little bit nicer if I drug this color down to emission, because I think this looks better emitting against the black background. And I'll give it an emission strength of something like three. And now let's see what this looks like when I render it. I need to do my camera view so it's a little bit bigger. But anyway, the colors look nice and bright against the background. Really, we don't need to do any more here. So we can get rid of that just by dragging from that upper left on top of the first window. If I click on this camera, up pops a brick of what my camera view is going to be. Now, if I zoom here, I'll, I'm not really doing anything other than making the camera view itself larger. Uh, what I can do is click on the view tab and then click on this, which actually says camera to view if I were to drag that out. So if I click on this checkbox, now when I orbit, I'm actually changing the position of the camera. Right, so I can do all kinds of stuff here, and I can I can zoom in and position things just how I might want it. So yeah, it might look something like this. And now if I hit play, now I can see my waves moving. The only other thing I might want to do is give this something to cloak around. So I'll get out of this camera view, and let's give it an object to cloak around. So let's give it, how about a cylinder? And before I touch anything here, as soon as I click away or do something, my options here will disappear, but I, I have an option to change some things. And I like setting this to 64. So it's 64 facets around here. I'll also go to auto smooth under the object properties. And th this is much larger than the wave. So I need to shrink that down. And what I'll do is I'll click on the Z. So that's top view. I'll click S to scale and I'll bring that just to the edge. And, and that may or may not be too tall for your tastes. I'll click S, Z and maybe bring it down to about here. All right, now if we render it, this is what we see. And I think that looks really nice. And of course we could render an animation. You can watch the waves move. I have other tutorials on adding like stars and nebula in the background. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. But that's the basics of bringing in a movie. And I think that's pretty easy. I hope you found this helpful.